to be here today to participate with my brothers and sisters in this very important forum when we are reflecting and thinking about our country. When we are thinking about our country, we, think we are thinking about ourselves, our people at home, and the generations to come. Mine is to assure you that we are doing our best as far as investigations are concerned. But at the same time, we do have quite a number of challenges, though they have not reached a point of dispiriting us, or rather demotivating us, we are trying to say that I wish everybody in this war of corruption may come on board. One thing I can say is, even before we go for some investigations outside there, some of the frustrations which really pull us down is some of the strange orders that we receive. Other than even I mean, starting the investigation, we are stopped even before we record a statement from somebody who you know very well as student from Kenyans. You know very well, and all Kenyans know, we are pursuing this person. And it's not something we're imagining. We all know. And we cannot write to ourselves, surely, and everything can show. But we are stopped even before questioning that person. And even we received some of those sounders, like another one which I received just the other day. I was not even in the, I mean, at the stage of even pursuing that person or whoever. Then when the hondas came, I ran them very well. Do not use the door to go and arrest Mr. Hay. Then I said, okay, why is this preemptive? Then I said, fine, I consulted my regular advisors, they are here. And then I said, no, through my information, there is a window. If, <laughs> if I cannot use the door to go and take the Mr. Hay, then I'm going through the window. And once I get through the window, I get a smoking gun, which is killing us. Just smoking, just immediately from murdering us Kenyans. When you steal from us, the hospital money, loans money, Development fund for all this country. What do you think you are? You are not better than that terrorist you are battering there in the Ducit and other areas. <laughs> then, immediately, faithfully carrying our smoking gun, then what happened? We are told, don't dare, don't even bring this smoking gun here. Don't even touch that person. We are bad. Please listen to me. I have it here. Why don't you give me 10 minutes even to demonstrate I'm not malicious? Surely, this is what I have. Then, if I am, prove me within these 10 minutes. Nobody is ready to listen to us. What I can say is, thank you for prayers and support from Kenyans. I know very well that issue of mafia in Italy, it was completely almost replica, the capture of the mafia. The way the war was won, and the people's cry, they were wiped and dry their tears, it was through the corrective working and bravery of their police, prosecution, and judiciary. When most of them, they are on BCD, and then the police said, no, enough is enough. Our people have cried enough. Let's go to fight for our people. In as much some of them were still with the mafia, it was massacre. They said, it's okay. Let's die. But for the worst cause of our people. The prosecution came on board and said, no. Equally, we are the cry of our people. They joined the war. They joined the police, the prosecutors. Then the judiciary came and said, no. Then we shall not be left. They came on board. The war was won for their people. Ultimately. We can say, equally in Kenya, we can take the cry of our Kenyans and say, this greed, these millions we are seeing every day, start them in bank, there are papers, we shall read them in this world. Let us say what is enough for us is what God has given us. And the moment we say correctively, we are going to fight this war together, I can for sure tell you, this country is beautiful, it has plenty for each and every one of us. And I can for sure, we shall have peace of mind. And even during our last days when they do come, even that billionaire who and all that, you will be smiling knowing if they seven, me am a Christian, I believe there is one. At least then have a space after the one hereafter. So that one is to say continue 
supporting us, praying for us. We shall do our ever best and we shall give all that we have for the sake of our motherland. Thank you.